What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing this target finance um, protocol. Last time I did a review, like a really in-depth review on the protocol, but right now I want to give you like a walkthrough of the protocol, how you can transfer, um, do some farming, staking, getting involved with the protocol and also transferring from a centralized exchange. So first of all, I'm gonna be showing you how you can um, transfer from the protocol. Second, um, um, farming, so you can make some money on Stargate Finance. Finance also how you can um, get your coins outside of the centralized exchange to your wallet. And finally, staking and getting involved with the protocol because I um, a good thing with Stargate Finance is that it is the first DAP um, built on Layer Zero. So basically, uh, I would say that is giving this thing is giving us the chance to get involved with um, Layer Zero and maybe if in the future they create their native token for Layer Zero, hopefully we can get some airdrop just for um, being, you know, using the protocol, the, the target finance. So let's first start with Binance. This is my go to centralized exchange so here what i do i deposit some money using my card and from there i purchase some coins and i send them to my different wallets on uh, my metamask so here i already have some coins on binance what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be choosing my address and then as you can see i have 27 target coins stg so the good thing with Stargate is that you can choose Metis, you can choose Binance, um, Binance Smart Chain, Binance Smart Chain, yeah, BSC. Um, what else? You can also use AVAX, you can use Arbitrum, you can use Ethereum, you can use Phantom. Um, they don't have Metis on Binance, but I know that you can also use Metis. So you have plenty, plenty, plenty of options to get your coins outside of the centralized exchange and then send it to your wallet. The only thing you need to do is just select the network and it will go directly to your wallet. Of course, you need to choose, um, you need to copy your wallet address. So depending on where you want to send it, of course, as you can see here, I have my wallet address. Um, I am on Matic. I'm just going to be choosing Matic. As you can see, I already have some VSTG because I am already staking some coins on the Stargate Finance. So again, here you can just copy paste. Of course, I'm going to be pausing the, the video for a quick second so I can make the transfer. But after choosing the network that you want, you can just copy, paste and send it. Here we have the AVAX which is pretty expensive when you put it in comparison to the others because AVAX is um, 2.5 STG as a fee. Then we have Arbitrum, which is pretty, pretty inexpensive. And the one that is cheaper is actually BSC. So if you want an option that is super, super cheap is I would go with BSC. As for myself, I've always used um, Matic. So I am going to be choosing Matic, but you can choose whatever the heck you want. Um, Phantom also is 2.5. STG, which I do think is kind of expensive. Ethereum, as usual, super expensive, um, $4.62. So again, you do have the option between Matic, um, BSC, and Arbitrum for super cheap transaction. I'm going to be choosing Matic. Now I'm going to be pausing and sending my coins to my wallet, and I'm going to be right back with you. Okay, so as you can see, I already withdrew my um, coins, my um, STG. Of course, I had 27 and something. I think it was 27.01. Um, I had to pay some fees, so I am receiving 26.75. While we are waiting for that transaction to go through, let's check some other things. So the charts here are crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm going to be adding a card around here, I guess, from the review that I made on the project. But basically, when I started purchasing on Stargate Finance, it was around here, 61 cents. So right now I'm up oof, uh, probably over 100%. If you calculate it until today's price, which is 103 to the top, that should be 138%. So yeah, so this thing has been growing a lot. I am not planning on selling for now. Um, my goal is to see if I can hold it until next year or probably even 2025. That would be my goal. But again, this thing is really exploding. Hopefully, hopefully this can go back down to at least 88 cents so I can grab some more. But yeah, um, let's see. So next, let's go to the protocol so I can show you some cool stuff. 
So Stargate Finance, you can transfer some coins from one network to another network. Um, right here, for example, if you have USDT, you can send it to um, Metis and send the USDT. Right now, of course, I don't have any USDT on that wallet, but you get um, the point here. If you want to do, for example, BNB to Metis, you can also do it. Maybe Polygon, Metis also do it. Let's see what other coins also you can do. They have STG, they have Bitcoin, they have um, MAI. They have DAI, they have USDT and USDC. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. If you want to send your um, stable coins on different networks to um, stake, farm, or do whatever the want, you know, whatever the F you want to do. So next, let's go to pool and farming. Now, let's say you already transferred some um, Matic from USDT to Metis. Let's say you transferred 100 um, USDT coins. You can go to farming after connecting your wallet, of course. Then you can choose one of those farms. As you can see, these are the top farms. Um, they have one for Frax. They have one for USDT. Frax again, but on Arbitrum. This one is on Metis and also BNB. This one is Metis, Ethereum. This one is for Polygon. Uh, what else? They have uh, Optimism and Phantom. So let's say we have the $100 on USDT. You can click on this and stake your USDT and make a 13% APY on your money so again the only thing you need to take into consideration is that 13 percent is pretty high but if you only have like ten dollars or a hundred dollars to stake i don't think you're gonna be making that much money because even after a year i know how much it is but just to calculate it to show you 13 percent of a hundred dollars is only 13 dollars basically you're making like 1.1 dollar per month yeah, even less than that, $1.08. So if your goal is to make some money on your stable coins, but you have like $1,000, $5,000, yeah, of course, if you feel comfortable with staking that amount of money on Stargate Finance, sure, you're going to be making some good money, like $5,000 by 13%. That's a nice $650 in a year. If you divide that by 12, that is enough money at least to go out um, to the movies or at least uh, I don't know do whatever, whatever you want at least one night in the month um, Ten thousand dollars would be uh, what? 54 by two a hundred dollars in passive income But again, if you are only staking a hundred dollars, I don't really see the point to do it uh, But again, that's how I see it. Maybe you are um, interested in making your thirteen dollars throughout the year I don't know that would be on you and again um, as usual, if you are staking into Stargate Finance, please, please, please do not take all your money, um, your lifetime saving and go and stake it there. Like for me, you could even see like my portfolio. This is one of my portfolio. I have uh, I haven't updated this week transaction, so I should be around probably 2550 more or less. So I should be over 3.2K in total value. From that portfolio, you can see that Stargate Finance, I only invested $145 and I am in profit $131. So that is what? Less than 10% of my total holdings. So that's why I'm okay with investing that amount of money. I would never go and invest $1,000 into Stargate Finance if I, am, if I only have $2,000 or 2.5K invested in total. It doesn't make sense. Like for me, you can see like, of course, big coins, Ethereum, 27%, Bitcoin, 18%, Matic, 11%. But I would never go with one of those coins like even Matic, DYDX or Stargate and put 50% of my holdings into it. No, never. Of course, my goal is to continue to accumulate and increase that amount of probably to $500. But at the same point, I will be increasing all my other coins. So yeah, just to put that on the side. So, you know, please, please never, never put your own, like all your, all your money, Ah, can I speak today? All your money into just one coin. Next, let's see. We have staking. Let's see if I have my coins on my wallet. If I receive it, let's see. Yes. So as you can see, we have 26.75 coins, which is $33.20. Next. So basically what you can do other than transferring farming, you can also stake your tokens and get some voting power and also make some APY from it. So now let's click on this. 
As you can see, I already have 203 STG locked, which those are locked until next month. So in 39 days, they will be, I will have the option to take them out. But right now, since I'm going to be staking, let me refresh this one moment. Okay, so since I am staking this again, um, the only thing with target finance is that since I already have some coins staked there, it will be increasing my locking period. So basically, I cannot be staking that 26 and keep the same um, locking period. It will be increasing at least by one month. As you can see here, it says staking duration. It is between one to 34 months. So yeah, so it will be increasing by one month. And let's see if I add max, I click one. As you can see, it increases the amount here. So you need to take that into consideration. Of course, um, if you want to stake your tokens and keep the, like uh, just, just for one month, but you already have some coins staked there, best bet would be to create a second wallet, transfer them to the second wallet, and then stake them on the other wallet and then you will have the option to stake for only one month. For now, I'm just gonna be increasing that amount and locking period, which I am okay with that. We're gonna be confirming the transaction here. Let's see here, confirm. And then we wait for a few seconds and we're gonna have all the coins here staked. I have this on pending. Uh, hopefully this can be quicker. And there you go. So let's go back to stake um yep it is updated so as you can see on polygon network i have stg 230 coins my vstg balance which is my voting power and also the coins that i receive so later i can claim my stg back um, i have i have 14.14 and the locking period is on for um that would be april 26. also i missed i don't know if i missed saying this but the apy on STG is 3.84. This fluctuates, but usually I've always seen it at 3.84. So that would be the APY um, per year. Then let's see. Lastly, we have voting, voting on the protocol, which is something that is very important because if you are um, getting involved with the protocol and you want to receive maybe some airdrops, some benefits, I would say that the best way to do it is by voting on the protocol, just like optimism, um, just like Uniswap, that was the way to get involved with the protocol. So I would say that would be the same way to get involved with the protocol. So in my case, you can just click on vote on snapshot. You will be redirected to the proposal. I missed that one, but as you can see on this one, I did vote it. And you can just click one of them. You select, of course, I don't have the option here, but then you select if you want yes, no, after reading it, then you click confirm and then you will be voting on the protocol and um, just giving your thoughts on where you want the protocol to go so yeah super super interesting to do so and again you are increasing your chances to get involved with the protocol so yeah so basically that's what you can do here on the protocol you can be transferring you can be farming you can be staking um, overview um, this is just the um, transaction and stats of the protocol so nothing to see here at least for today and again transferring to the protocol the good thing is that you can choose um, whatever um, network you want so if you are on a centralized exchange you can choose um, bnb you can use ethereum you can use matic and whatever is best for you so yeah so there you have it guys um just a quick review a walkthrough of the target finance protocol hopefully you like it if you if you did find something valuable in this video please leave a like subscribe and comment talk to you later Bye bye